girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Torture. I'm your host, Robert. As we continue on the road to WrestleMania, we've already counted down the 10 best women's matches in Mania history, the 10 best tag team title matches in WrestleMania history, the 10 best non-title singles matches in WrestleMania history. Now we're going to the 10 best intercontinental slash United States title. The two mid-card titles kind of combine them for the best matches at Wrestlemania. What's left on the road to Wrestlemania you ask? We have the best world title matches, the best main events, and then we'll have the preview for Wrestlemania 33, 34 excuse me, and then the preview for NXT TakeOver New Orleans along with the best ever Wrestlemania matches, the best ever TakeOver matches. Alright! So, number 10 is the United States title. comes from Wrestlemania 23. We had Inter United States Champion Chris Benoit defending the, Inter the U.S. title versus Montavious Von Mon Montel Montavious Porter, NBP. Chris Benoit retaining this title in a three and a half star match. Number 9 on the list is the Intercontinental title. It comes from Wrestlemania 9. It was Tatanka versus the Intercontinental Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. This match actually led off WrestleMania 9. That was at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Tatanka won by countout, so Shawn retained the Intercontinental title. I gave it three and a half star. It's actually one of my more favorite Intercontinental title matches of all time. Uh, number 8 on the list is also the Intercontinental title. It comes from one year before, WrestleMania 8. We had Bret Hitman Hart defending the title, or going after the title versus the Intercontinental Champion, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper here dropped the title to, to Hitman Bret Hart. I gave it 3.5. Number 7 on the list was the United States title from last year, WrestleMania 33. It was a pre-show match. It was Baron Corbin versus the United States Champion Dean Ambrose, the Lunatic Fringe. Dean Ambrose retaining this title in a three and a half star match. Number six is the Intercontinental Title match from WrestleMania six. That was also the Intercontinental Title versus the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Intercontinental Champion the Ultimate Warrior versus the World Wrestling Federation Champion Hulk Hogan. Um, winner takes all, belt versus belt. The Ultimate Warrior won, not only retained his Intercontinental title, but won the WWF title. I gave it three and three quarter star. Number five on the list is the un I put United States title. Um, so Baron Corbin and Dean Ambrose last year was for the Intercontinental title. United States Champion was Kevin, was Chris Jericho. Jericho versus Kevin Owens for the U.S. title. Kevin Owens beating Chris Jericho. And I gave that three and three quarters star. Number four on the list it was for the Intercontinental title. Comes from WrestleMania 32. It was a seven-way ladder match involving The Miz, Sin Cara, Zack Ryder, Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler and Stardust. And surprise, surprise, Zack Ryder winning that seven way ladder match. I gave it four and a quarter star. Number three on the list was also the Intercontinental title, was also a seven way ladder match from WrestleMania 31. We had. And I did not write everybody down that was in it. Oh boy. Um, Dana Bryan, Bad News Barrett. Stardust. I don't remember who all was in it. I didn't write it all down. Uh, Bad, News, Bad News Barrett was champion going in and Dan O'Brien won the match. I gave it four and a quarter. I guess I forgot to write all the other the other five guys down in it. Um, yeah, I don't even remember. have a clue who was in it. Uh, Dan O'Brien won it, so oops. <laughs> Go look it up on Wikipedia, WrestleMania 31. Intercontinental title, seven way ladder match. Champion Bad News Barrett losing the title to Daniel Bryan. And unfortunately, Daniel Bryan shortly after that ended up uh, 
happened to relinquish it due to concussion issues, and thankfully he's back now. Uh, number two on the list, Intercontinental title from WrestleMania 3. All the way back, we had Intercontinental Champion Randy Macho Man Savage versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. This has been an Intercontinental title match that a lot of fans have talked about for a lot of years. Obviously, 33 years. You know, 30 years ago. WrestleMania 3. So, 31 years ago now. Four and a half star Ricky the Dragon Steamboat beating Randy Macho Man Savage to win the Intercontinental title. And the greatest Intercontinental title match in WrestleMania history, the one, the only, WrestleMania 10, the ladder match, dual Intercontinental Champions, Razor Ramon and Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, Shawn had the title left, and they came up with a new title. For, and Razor won it, and it was champion versus champion. There was two Intercontinental titles hanging up. It was really the first big ladder match in WrestleMania history. One of the biggest, first biggest. It was one of those matches where I've watched it now, and it's like, okay, the ladder was a secondary figure in the match. Uh, some ladder matches, the ladder is like the biggest thing in the match. In that match, it was like, we had a match, and oh yeah, there's a ladder involved. Um, yeah, I gave it four and three quarter star. It's one of those matches, if you look back on it now, it's like, it was like, it could be a five star match, but I don't just give out five star matches like some people do. So I say four and three quarters. So, you know, hey, four and three quarters, five star, it was one of the best matches. If you look at the greatest matches in WrestleMania history, which we will, here on Arbor Sports Show on the road to WrestleMania, I'm not hitting it, but that match is on the list. <laughs> Um, so that'll wrap up the best Intercontinental and U.S. title matches in WrestleMania history. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content. Make sure you check out the uh, MLB playoff predictions and the NCAA March Madness Final Four preview.